Ford Focus and Fiesta, 2011 through 2018 on the Fiesta, 2012 to 2018 on the Focus. Very common question I get is, you have to do a clutch adaptive learn after you do the clutch actuators. No, you do not. Just bolt them right in and uh, move on. Of course, clear your codes out if you want to make sure that that takes care of your issue. If you're not sure if that's your issue to begin with, a common issue, a common codes that they set are P0902-P090C. 902 is for the top actuator, and 90C is for the bottom actuator. P090C, I should say. If you take the bottom actuator off and move it to the top, take the top actuator and top move it to the bottom, clear your codes out, if the same code comes back, then you know it's probably a TCM problem. The code changes from P0902 to P090C, for example, then you know that the actuator is the problem because it followed the movement when you moved the actuator from the top to the bottom in that situation. That is called an actuator swap. If you have an actuator code, that's one way to determine whether it's a TCM issue or an actuator issue. Of course, I highly, highly recommend getting OEM actuators. They have enough issues as it is. When you get the super cheap ones off of eBay and Amazon, there's about two to three times as many problems out of those. The Ford ones, that they can be hit or miss as well. However, it's significantly more rare for them to be bad right out of the box, but it does happen. But when they're good out of the box, when, which they usually are, they're usually good forever. Those two codes I've been talking about, most of the time, those are the codes you're going to get when you have an actuator or TCM issue like that. You can get clutch stuck applied codes, P287A, for example. If you have clutch stuck applied codes, um, when you're doing the actuator swap, you can rotate the clutch forks. For example, if you have a clutch A stuck applied code, turn clutch A by hand. And this is how you do it right here. You just put the uh, special spline socket in there. I'll link that below. I'll also link my video specifically showing how to do exactly what I'm talking about right now in more detail. So check that below in the description. Also throw a video in there doing an actuator swap. And anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I was a Ford transmission tech for 11 years. Did a lot of work with the Ford Focus and Fiesta. <laughs> Got a playlist on my YouTube channel on all the videos on how to diagnose and repair the uh, transmission. Everything that goes wrong on them, I've got videos on how to do yourself. I'll, uh, if you click the description below, I've got uh, I'll put a video playlist uh, link with all my videos in it for that. Also got a Facebook and Discord group you can join and ask your questions to the group. Sometimes I'll hop in there and answer questions for a while too. As I sure do hope this video helps. It's really not too bad of a transmission once you replace the do the clutch job and replace the actuators and the TCM. Um, yeah, I mean, besides that, <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, when you get the redesigned Ford clutch kit in there, which is a Luke rep set, by the way, I'll link that as well below. Luke rep set is the OEM Ford parts. When you get a new OEM Ford parts in there, the new OEM redesigned TCM, and you get new OEM actuators, you're going to be set for 100,000 miles. The transmission's just going to shudder on you after about 5,000 miles every once in a while. But other than that, it's not going to leave you stranded. The fluid changed in the transmission every 30 to 60,000 miles to prolong the life of the synchronizers is becoming an issue now. Uh, more people are noticing uh, crunchy, noisy synchronizers and the car starts to skip gears. But uh, odds are, eventually you might have one synchronizer go bad just to mitigate the odds of that to keep the fluid changed in it. And if one goes bad, then it'll just start skipping that one gear and it's not going to be the end of the world. So um, if you ever get tired of this transmission, I do have another playlist on how to manual swap this uh, Ford Focus. It's really not that difficult and it's not that expensive either. I manual swapped mine for a couple hundred dollars by the time I sold my transmission that I took out of it. Uh, of course, it was a good transmission at the time without anything wrong with it. All in all, I would say 700 bucks to manual swap it. All right, I'm going on a tangent. You guys have a great day. If you've got any uh, questions, post them below. Like I said, I also go to Facebook and Discord group. I've got a lot of useful info I'll put in the description below. All right, thank you.